herbicide resistance in downy brome is increasing a little bit. We have Eastern Washington, which is not too far away from us, has some glyphosate resistant downy brome. There's some resistant to group two herbicides in downy brome. Downy brome also, it gets interchangeably called cheatgrass downy brome, is also a really big problematic weed in our rangeland areas. And it also can be a weed in alfalfa and some of our other forage crops too. In rangeland, in the Intermountain West, it's been um, associated with the increase in fire frequency in some of our areas. So we're looking to manage it in crop and both in natural rangeland settings too. Okay. So we're here in a field of winter wheat in winter wheat trial here. And this is a trial where it has cheatgrass and winter wheat in it. And both of these species are winter annual species, winter wheat and Bromus tectorum, downy brome or cheatgrass. Downy brome can be a really big problem in winter cereals. Uh, and so a lot of times we think about managing it. And when we think about managing with integrated weed management tactics, one of the easiest things to do for a producer is to switch up timing of weed management. Like, like winter wheat, Bromus tectorum or downy brome germinates in the fall and winter. So if you go from a winter wheat to maybe a spring wheat one season, before planting a spring wheat, you can go in and manage all of that downy brome in the early season with a herbicide, with mechanical tactics, um, something like that. The problem with uh, the cheap grass is it likes to shatter out before you harvest. There's, you know, they came out with a new variety of weeds that you can spray for cheap grass. We, we use that as our problem fields. We'll, we'll plant that in just like we do everything else. It's called coaxium. And this coaxium's out of Colorado and it's made for downy brome. <laughs> 